welcome sight, but no guarantee of salvation. It looks like an old, old railway bridge. Some sort. That must be 200 foot high. At least. In Montana, there are hundreds of miles of derelict track leading to abandoned mines and ghost towns. It's all the concrete's falling apart up there. My best bet really is to try and get on it and stick with it. See where it goes. Yep. On each handhold and foothold, you start getting this high. You're just not human if you don't feel a flutter. After an epic climb and only 15 foot short of the top, I'm faced with a problem. How on earth am I going to get over this lip? The concrete lip is overhanging and out of reach. But if I can get my chain over the top and secure it, I might be able to swing out and climb up. Now I need this knot to be big enough to swing out and over there and to get snagged and hooked on that railing. But my arms are just ruined after the climb. Well. I'm balanced on one foot, holding on with one hand, and trying to swing a 30 pound chain above my head. This needs a bit more length. It's cool, it is cool. Officially time for a courage pill. These tracks are shiny. That means they're still in use. I'm going to follow them. But beware, you could follow them for days with no sign of life. Through straight through this tunnel. It'll be quicker and easier than going over it as well. Let's get through. But there's always a risk walking into a railway tunnel this narrow. Hang on, stop, stop. The tracks are vibrating. There's a train coming. We need to move. Go, 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 go. Keep up with me. Run! It's impossible to judge the speed of an oncoming train. All you can do is run. Russell, keep going, keep going, keep going. Wilderness of Montana has proved to be a real challenge. From the mountain peaks to the desolate plains, it's a place that tests the mind and body in equal measure. And my body and mind have survived. I'm out of here. <laughs>